Hello, my name is Francisca. I'm a fourth year medical sciences student here at Dalhousie, and I'm from Bedford, Nova Scotia. Today, I'm going to take you on a little tour of Dalhousie's three Halifax campuses. I'd like to begin by acknowledging that Dalhousie University is located in Mi'kmaq, the ancestral and unceded territory of the Mi'kmaq. We are all treaty people. We also recognize the histories, contributions, and legacies of African Nova Scotians who have been here for over 400 years. In the Canadian context, Dalhousie is a medium-sized university with just over 19,000 students. 62% of those come from outside of Nova Scotia and 24% are international students. We offer over 200 programs, 2,000 work term opportunities, and 130 master's and PhD programs, and $27 million in undergraduate financial awards. We'll start off the tour with the Studley campus. Welcome to the Studley Quad. Here you will find the Henry Hicks Arts and Administration Building. Known for its iconic clock tower, the Henry Hicks Building is home to a number of academic departments, student services, and administrative offices. Here, students will find classrooms, the registrar's office, student accounts, the Department of Political Science, the Faculty of Graduate Studies, and more. If you need support, the front counter of the registrar's office is a great place to start. The Chemistry Building is the first and oldest building on Dalhousie Studley campus, and it's home to the Department of Chemistry. It houses a chemistry help center for all students, and first-year chemistry labs are typically held here. The Wallace McCain Learning Commons was built in 2015 after the results of a student survey showed that students would really want to see more study spaces on campus. The Wallace McCain Learning Commons, sometimes referred to as a library without the books, boasts small study spaces and students can book these for two hour periods of time. And there's also a computer lounge and printing services available. The Chase Building is another one of the oldest buildings on the Studley campus and it houses the Department of Mathematics and Statistics. Recently, a large portion of the building was remodeled to include an innovative math help center open to all Dalhousie students. The Sir James Dunn Building houses the Department of Physics and Atmospheric Science, as well as most of first-year engineering. It houses a planetarium where you can see a virtual tour of the night sky, and a LIDAR, which is an atmospheric laser used to detect weather patterns. We host a unique partnership with the University of King's College, where any Dalhousie student can take courses at King's and any King student can take courses at Dalhousie. Known nationally and internationally for its interdisciplinary programs in the humanities and journalism, King's is a great option to check out for Dalhousie students as well. The Life Sciences Center features a diverse range of research facilities and is home to most of the Faculty of Science. It includes a rooftop greenhouse, the Aquatron Laboratory, which is a specialized marine research facility, and the McCulloch Museum, where there is a nearly 200-year-old collection of taxidermied birds, fish, and ceramic mushrooms, to name a few. Dalhousie's primary athletic facility, the Dalplex contains basketball courts, a weight room, a rock climbing wall, an indoor track, an Olympic-sized swimming pool, a cardio room, and labs for the kinesiology program. 15,000 square foot expansion was recently built along South Street, which provides the Dalplex with state-of-the-art facilities and increased space. It is also located right next to the Wickwire Field. Le Marchand Place is our new non-traditional residence. It also houses the Welcome Center, which is home to recruitment and admissions, the Campus Tours Office, and Health Services, which has integrated counseling services, health promotions, wellness programs, and a puppy room. The International Center supports 20% of our students that come from international locations and also has information about study exchange and study abroad programs. The Student Union Building is the student hub for extracurricular and social life on campus with over 400 clubs and societies at Dalhousie. Here you'll find the Social Affairs Office as well as the University Bookstore and Campus Copy Printing Service. The Visit Student Success Center offers academic advising and career path help while the Career Service Center helps with on-campus employment, plus resume and cover letter support. The Kenneth Rowe Management Building is a LEED certified building, lots of natural lighting, great for studying. It houses one of our bigger classrooms, the Potter Auditorium, which holds 400 students. The Goldberg Computer Science Building is home to the Faculty of Computer Science. This building includes a main auditorium, seminar rooms, and study spaces, shift he labs, an innovation and entrepreneurship center for students, and more key spaces where research and development is fostered among students. 
Now we'll visit the Black Student Advising Center and the Indigenous Student Center. The Black Student Advising Center, located on the second floor, supports all Black students in the pursuit of post-secondary education. The Indigenous Student Center helps create a sense of belonging to support student success while at Dalhousie. The Dalhousie Arts Center is the premier performing arts venue in the Halifax area. It is home to Dalhousie's Fountain School of Performing Arts and the Dalhousie Art Gallery. Construction of a brand new concert hall is underway, providing expanded performance space and will offer a standard of excellence in performing arts education. The Weldon Law Building is home to the Schulich School of Law and also houses the Law Library, which is a fantastic study space for all Dalhousie students. The Marion McCain Arts and Social Sciences Building is home to the faculties of, you guessed it, Arts and Social Sciences. The building boasts two large auditorium-style classrooms, the Andache and the Scotiabank. Additionally, you'll find language labs, classrooms, and a fireside lounge, as well as some administrative offices. The Killa Memorial Library is the largest academic library in the region with traditional study spaces for students. The Killam houses the Student Accessibility Center, the Learning Commons, the Writing Center, conference rooms, and on the lower level, the tunnel that runs underground connecting to the Life Sciences Center. The Mark A. Hill Accessibility Center is the Student Accessibility Center that has expertise for student access, inclusion, and accommodation support. They work collaboratively with students, faculty, and staff to reduce barriers related to a range of accessibility challenges and aim to create an inclusive environment for students. This is the end of the Studley Campus Tour. There are three campuses located in Halifax, the Studley Campus, the Carleton Campus, and the Sexton Campus. Next, let's head on over to the Carleton Campus. This is the Carleton Campus. Dalhousie's Carleton Campus is home to the health professions of dentistry, medicine, nursing, and health sciences programs. A hub for health, wellness, and research, students benefit from this campus location right next door to the top hospitals in the region. The Forest Building is a central part of Dalhousie's Carleton Campus and houses the schools of nursing, physiotherapy, and occupational therapy. The Dentistry Building supports exemplary research, education, training, and patient care. The Collaborative Health Education Building, also known as the CHEB, is designed to facilitate the transformation of health education for students at Dalhousie and foster a cultural shift in healthcare toward greater interprofessional collaborative care. Here is the Tupper Building and the Kellogg Library. This building is home of the Faculty of Medicine and Dalhousie's Biomedical Library, the W.K. Kellogg Health Sciences Library. Now on to the Sexton Campus. The Sexton Campus is home to Dalhousie's Engineering, Architecture, Design, and Planning programs. The Sexton Campus is located in the heart of downtown Halifax and is approximately a 15-minute walk from the main Studley Campus. Students benefit from the close proximity of the new and impressive Halifax Central Public Library. The Amera Idea Building opened in 2018 and provides Dalhousie's faculty and student body with five new state-of-the-art workshops and prototyping labs, as well as innovation studios focused on hardware-based entrepreneurship. The Richard Murray Design Building also opened in 2018 and features a 450-seat auditorium four new design studios for architecture and planning students, bookable student meeting rooms, and the student-centered John Lindsay Senior Design Commons. With close proximity to the Halifax Central Public Library, the Ralph M. Medjuck Building is home to the Faculty of Architecture and Planning. This space contains faculty offices, classrooms, studio space, study space, and student lounges. Dalhousie's Halifax campuses offer residence communities in eight different buildings. 79% of rooms in Halifax are single rooms. In all buildings, you'll find great social and study spaces, support from residence assistants and residence life managers, kitchenettes and laundry facilities. Everything you need to make it your home away from home. This concludes our Halifax campus tour. If you still have any questions about anything related to campus tours, connect with our team by emailing campus.tours at dial.ca. My name is Francisca and thank you so much for joining me today and we hope to see you on campus sometime soon.